Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Mike and behind me is my home built simulator. You might have seen it a few months ago in a video when I was building it, but some things have changed now. If you're new around here, this was built from some real aviation parts and uh, I'm still currently adding to it and we're going to make it a lot better. Now that we're coming to the back end of the summer, I thought we can do a lot more simulator videos. So uh, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to say it now. I'm going to try and commit to a video a day, and we're going to see how that goes. Uh, some days I might even do two videos. I'm just going to experiment with the channel, experiment with the simulator videos, uh, and see if you guys like it or not. I'm open to any suggestions. So anything you want to put on the channel, you want to see me put on the channel, let me know. Put it in the comments down below. If there's anything I can improve on myself and do better, please let me know as well. So anyway, let's pick up the camera and I'll give you a little tour of the simulator. So here we go. So currently I've got it in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now I can't wait for Flight Simulator 24 to be released. So we're gonna be doing a lot of content with MS24. Currently we're running Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. And uh, this is the Eurofighter. Uh, I really, I'm really enjoying the Eurofighter at the moment. Uh, I'm on the medium uh, version of the Eurofighter, so it's not the uh, not the low budget one, which is about six quid, I think. And then there's one that's about thirty. This was about I think fifteen pounds, uh, and it's quite good. So guys, let me know if you've seen this, and if you are using the the more expensive one. Let me know what the differences are uh, because I'd, I'd probably like to give it a try. Um, but anyway, so my, my pride and joy of this simulator is my ejection seat. So I've made it out of a real Martin Baker ejection seat. I've shown this in another video. Uh, so you can go back and have a look. I'll link the video and you can see the full uh, setup of that. Uh, if you can hear anything in the background, it's my beautiful doggy Tilly. Tilly. Say hello to all the new subscribers. Hello. She doesn't really talk like that. Tilly has her own voice, don't you? Hello, my name's Tilly. How are you all? Please subscribe to my dad's channel. <laughs> Guys, I haven't lost a plot, honestly. Tilly spends a lot of time in the office with me, don't you? Um, making noise. I was gonna shut her out, but I thought it wasn't fair to you. So if you don't mind, Tilly will follow us around a little bit. You might even see her sticking her head into the simulator when I'm flying, so. Um, okay, so yeah, my ejection seat, I'm so proud of this, really enjoy this. Uh, it makes it feel so much better. Even the little squeaks and clicks of it you, you get, it's just, uh, I just really love it. Um, so uh, this is all legit, so a real sheepskin from an ejection seat. I've got a helicopter pad seat there, but it just pads it out, makes it really nice. And then we've got the, the, the actual survival box underneath as well. And my latest addition is the new ejection handle. So before, I'll show you the old ejection handle. So uh, this is the old ejection handle. And it wasn't very comfy, and it clunked around between my legs. And it, and it kept going off center, it was really annoying me. I think this is out of a, um, what's it? It's it's either out of a Phantom, like an early Phantom, or I think it was an Intruder, um, or maybe a Skyhawk, something like that. So it, it's cool and it's probably got some real good history behind it, but it wasn't the classic ejection seat look I was looking for, uh, and it was just annoying me a little bit. So we got, one of the Martin Baker ones. I've been looking for one of these for ages. Uh, one of the standard pull grab handles. And I couldn't find any. Like everyone, all my contacts was out. And then I found one on eBay. Uh, and I had to manufacture a, a thing for the bottom because it was just the, um, the, the pull cord here. Uh, so I manufactured this so it fits perfectly. Say, say perfectly. There we go, fits perfectly in there and it doesn't annoy me when I'm flying. So we're gonna link it to the button box eventually and we're gonna have it so it pulls out. So when you're in DCS, um, it will it will eject. I do use G DCS as well, but I found myself over the last few weeks really getting into Microsoft Flight Simulator. I think it's because the new one's coming 
and the freedom that you have flying around anywhere in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I like trialing different airports and stuff. So uh, yeah, there that's where we're at with that. We've done nothing more really to the PC or the controls. We're just using the standard Warthog control. And so we've got the cheapest Thrustmaster pedals, but I did get some 3D printed uh, military pedals on there and they look really good and they feel good as well when I'm flying so I'm, I'm happy with that and the latest upgrades have been done to the helmet let me uh, get the helmet out and you can have a look so here we go here it is my flight helmet for this simulator now I'm so proud of this <laughs> I, I people have called me an idiot for wearing it but you know what it, it just adds to the realism of the game for me. So I'm a military aviation enthusiast, not a commercial civilian air aviation. I love fighter jets and anything like that, warbirds. So I wanted to wear a helmet in the flight simulator just to make it feel good. I did as a kid. As you can see, I've got my own Maverick helmet there. And that's my actual flying helmet for real life. Uh, and I did have a, another one, but I sold it recently actually. Um, but um, yeah, this is uh, this is my simulator helmet, and I want I took inspiration from the new F thirty five helmet. Uh, I wanted it to be like futuristic. I wanted to incorporate the VR headset into it, which I haven't done yet because I'm not happy with the the VR headset I've got over here. So uh, that's my VR headset. It's a Pico. I'm not very uh, very impressed by it at all. And do you like my pen pot? That's a tornado engine valve I turned into a pen pot, which is quite cool. We uh, sell them on the website if anybody wants any. Um, anyway, <laughs> little plug there. But um, yeah, so this is my flight helmet. Now, if you haven't noticed, the helmet is an old, is one of the Chinese replica helmets, uh, and uh, yeah, I've uh, I've completely modified it. As you can see, look, I'm moving it now, and the track IR is uh, is moving on the helmet. So uh, it's uh, for me, it's quite cool. It's like very uh, futuristic. -y. <laughs> and we've got the track IR on there. So we've changed this since the original video. I've gone for the IR Pro, um, not the uh, the one with the little look reflectors on. Um, I found it was too um, jerky, and a couple of people told me. So just upgrade to the Pro, and I'm glad I did. Uh, and the Pro is really, really good. I'm really happy with the with the Pro. Uh, and then we've got inside the helmet is a Turtle Bay uh, headset where I adapted to fit inside the helmet. And I was having some issues with the microphone, so I ended up using a Turtle Bay microphone recently, uh, and I've adapted it onto a real RAF boom mic uh, there. So we've got the real look of the helmet and the thing I've done recently I've lightened the helmet by taking off the old visor cover and replacing the visor cover with an Apache visor cover this is a carbon fiber genuine Apache Gentex cover and I was going to do the whole helmet green but then I thought I like the green and white it kind of gives it that um, prototypey look uh, and there are some military helmets out there that are white so that was that's my helmet and I, I just love flying with it on even through the summer people are like you're going to be so hot with it i wasn't uh, I, I wore it on some hot days and it was fine and it just adds to the realism for me anyway so uh there's my 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 flying helmet back to the simulator so we've got uh, this is a, a good addition that i liked uh, it just gives me extra um uh, room to put things on when I'm in the simulator I can put I can put all my checklists on here uh, and that's part of a real airplane as well so uh, and, and it's the smell that you get from having that that then aviation aircraft parts incorporated as a simulator it actually smells like a real plane and I love I love that so uh, that's pretty much it if you're looking at the ejection seat that's a, a parachute pack a real parachute pack but it's really padded and comfy so that's really cool so moving on to things that I would like to do with the simulator, things I want to go on to develop over the winter. Uh, the first thing 
I want to do an enclosure. Now I'm not sure how much room I'm going to have in here to do it. Um, but I'd like to do some sort of enclosure that basically just encloses me inside the cockpit and gives me that little bit more of an immersive feeling uh, and uh, stops the light coming in from the windows as well. So that's my plan. I'm going to do some sort of um, 2x4 and MDF construction and then paint it all black and do that. So that's one of my plans. And the other plan was to make some sort of canopy to enclose the monitors. So maybe put the monitors outside of the canopy. That I'm still playing with the idea of that. So I, I, ha I actually have a tornado canopy uh, at my lockup and I was going to put a, do that, but honestly, it's massive. It would fill up my entire home office. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but I may be looking for a, a sm smaller canopy or some sort of perspex that we can we can incorporate into the other thing as well. So that's something that I'm going to toy with just to get that feeling. Uh, and um, I'm eventually going to get a force feedback stick, but I'm, I'm not going to go for that just yet. And we're going to add more buttons on here. And like I said, get the ejection seat handle working with one of the pull buttons. So they're my, my upgrades that I'm going to do. Also, I'm still looking for um, a VR headset. Like I said, the Pico just doesn't do it for me. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but I'm not having any luck with the Pico. It's just it's not very good at all. So um, I might change the VR headset. But currently, I'm getting used to flying like this with the three monitors. So it's all good. So that is my simulator setup. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm going to try and put a video out a day if I can. And... Uh, we will have fun together with this. So guys, let me know what you thought. Put your comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.